Yo guys, if you have CarPlay and you want to be able to watch YouTube, Netflix, or Hulu, check this out. I got you. This is the CarPuride 3-in-1 AI box adapter. And it's very simple to plug up. Just unplug your wired connection from CarPlay. You get the CarPuride device and plug it in the same port. Boom. You wait 40 seconds and it'll come up on the screen. So I know what you're thinking. What the heck is an AI box adapter? Well, pretty much this is a Android 11 device and it uses Apple CarPlay to show its interface like what we see right here. And as you can see right here, we get YouTube, Netflix, and the Google Play Store pre-installed. But you might be wondering, what about Hulu? What about other streaming services that aren't pre-installed? Well, that's why we got the Google Play Store. Once we're connected to the internet, we could go in the Google Play Store, search up Hulu, and then you'll see this app won't work for your device. So what the heck? How do we get Hulu? Don't worry, I got you. We're gonna need two apps. First, we need a web browser. We're gonna get Mozilla Firefox. And we're also gonna need APK installer. This one has over 10 million downloads. Must be trustworthy. Let's get that one. You might've noticed this little dot. This is a floating button and it's just a quick access to the home page. This one will allow you to go back one page. This will show all the running apps and you can clear all of them. Kind of like a task manager. This one will clear all your cache and this will take you back to the original interface. All right, once both apps are installed, we're gonna open up Firefox. And we need to download the APK version of Hulu. Type in Hulu APK file. This is a trusted website right here, apkpeer.com. We'll tap that. Tap download APK. Exit out this ad. All right, let's exit out here. On this page, we're gonna scroll all the way down until we see the green download button. You'll know this is the right one because it has the file size, 12.7 megabytes. Click download, Just tap download again. Once you get the notice that the download has been completed, we'll get out of here, go back home. Now we could go in APK installer, and this is how we will install Hulu using the APK file we just installed. Before we install Hulu, we gotta accept all of these permissions. Allow access to manage all files. Turn on, go back, tap on this one, APK files. And you can see right here, it found the Hulu one that we just downloaded. We'll tap that, click install. We gotta approve the security settings. Tap settings, allow from the source, on, go back. Do you wanna install this application? Install. Hit done and check this out. Now we got Hulu, woo! And just to show you that it works, oops, you can see that the app is accessible. We'll tap on something to see that it plays. Pretty sweet. And there you go, YouTube, Netflix, and Hulu works. And just in case there's an app that you want but you can't download from the Google Play Store, just use the Firefox and APK installer method and you'll be Gucci. All right, so while we're in here, let's go ahead and check out the whole user interface. One really cool feature is this floating button right here. Anytime you touch the screen, it's gonna pop up and it'll disappear after a few seconds but it's just an easy way to navigate through this system. If you wanna go back to your original car stereo, just tap on this icon right here, or you can just tap on this and tap that icon right there. On the left-hand side, you get a tiny area for your date and time. This shows your Wi-Fi connection. You can easily access your Bluetooth information right here. You got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto right here. If you tap on it, it's gonna show you how to set it up. You'll notice that this only has one plug. So obviously Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is wireless. So if your car came with CarPlay, you obviously know how this works. It's the same on any device. But in case you're unfamiliar with CarPlay, this is a interface developed by Apple, which allows you to interact with your phone without actually using your phone. So here we got a split screen with your navigation and music. You could tap on this and it'll full screen your navigation. 
tap down here to split the screen again. If you tap it again, you'll see all of the apps that are supported. Apple CarPlay is gonna load up all of your music apps. So we got Apple Music, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Amazon Music, Spotify, Tidal, and YouTube Music. It'll also load up navigation apps. We got Waze, Google Maps, and of course, Apple Maps. You can make phone calls, listen, and make text messages. And just to show you proof that it is wireless, let's open up Spotify. And look at that. E it works, okay. Now you can get out of here by tapping a couple of times and select car, but remember this little floating button? You can even you can even tap this and just click the home icon. There you go. Now let's go to Android Auto. This phone doesn't have its own cellular network, so it's not gonna show my navigation right there. But it's the same idea as Apple CarPlay. You get the navigation, you get the music, you can tap either one to go full screen. So look, you can see it changes. Wow, it's even faster on the phone. <laughs> yep, just like CarPlay, you could tap down here. You'll go back to split screen, tap it again to see all of the apps that are accessible on Android Auto. It's gonna load up all of your music apps that's on your phone, your navigation apps. You can also make phone calls and text messages. And if you wanna get out of here, just tap that exit icon or tap the floating icon, click the home button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next, I wanna show you guys that this has a micro SD card. The micro SD card is gonna be metal side facing up once that's plugged in you'll be able to access the files using file explorer and this is just going to show audio and video files so we'll tap audio you'll get all of your mp3s right here tap video here's all of our video files if you get out of here this is the music player for the micro sd card It'll automatically start playing and whenever it's ready it's going to load up the list of mp3s right there or you can tap down here and it'll show all of your mp3s yep if there's some certain songs you like you can tap on the heart and tap down here this will show all the songs that you click like on you can pull up the mp3 artwork by tapping this icon right here that's the song artwork so if I change music, there you go, it changes again. Pretty cool. And obviously you get the song name and artist right there. Oops, if we get out of here, this will be your video player. It'll automatically start playing your videos. You can tap right here to see all the video files. So this can play .mov and .mp4s. This is one of my bigger files right here. It's almost 200 megabytes. Yo, what it is guys? What's up? Today we're gonna be installing some Pretty nice. And the one on the bottom. This is a is 13 minute video. And look, it loads pretty quickly. Two out of 24. I found that. So if you wanna put on a, a long video, it'll work and it won't lag. You guys already seen all of these apps. Carbit Link. You'll have to download the Carbit Link app on your phone. And pretty much it's just so you can screen mirror your phone onto the stereo. In my opinion, the only reason why people use Carbit Link is because they want to watch YouTube or Netflix from their phone and show it on the screen. But since this device allows you to download these apps, you don't really need to screen mirror your phone because this screen is pretty much a little bit smaller than my phone. So yeah, pretty pointless. I think you could install it. Yeah, drag it up here to this trash icon and get rid of this app free up some space you know i don't know why they got the home icon right here because we're already on the home page <laughs> i guess if you have multiple pages it's useful yeah whatever but let's get into settings let's see what all we can do in here now up here you get both your wi-fi and bluetooth settings you could change language 
just in case you don't want English, I guess. It has a total of 13 languages. Application info, this is pretty much an Android feature. It'll show all of your apps that are installed and you could manage them. You can manually set your date and time, but once you get connected to internet, it should update for you properly. If you go in here, more, this is more Android based settings, but you can also change the wallpaper. So if you click right here, display, wallpaper, there's nothing pre-installed, but you could put images on your micro SD card and that's how you could put your own wallpaper. So we'll go to File Explorer. We'll do this one, this top one. And now I have access to all the files that's in the micro SD card. So we'll go all the way down. These are my pictures right here. I'm gonna select this one because it's kind of dark. And let's check it out. Hoo hoo! Yeah, that looks a lot better. I like that. It really makes the icons pop and the text under the icons look more clear. Plus, it's a picture of my own car, so it definitely looks better than the original background, in my opinion. Let's go back up into settings. Video definition. If you're scrolling through here and it lags, you can adjust this. Right now I have it on nine. The max setting is 10. And it even tells you if you encounter a slow freeze, yada, 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 just lower it. It can go all the way down to zero. And in order to save these settings, you'll just simply just have to unplug this and plug it back in. All right, let's see how zero looks like. Um, I don't really notice anything. Hmm, I guess if anything, it's a lot faster. <laughs> well, anyways, next up, boot up app. So every time you turn this on, you can set an app that will start up. So let's do YouTube, okay? We'll unplug it, turn it back on, wait 40 seconds, <laughs> and YouTube should open without me doing anything. See how long it takes. Oh, there you go, see? Very nice, very nice. Cursor operation, I'm not sure what that does. I'm assuming you could turn this on and probably connect a Bluetooth mouse and you'll be able to see a mouse on here, I suppose. Floating button, that's what this is right here. Very useful. I think if you don't have this turned on, it's gonna be hard to navigate the system. Auto copy log, I think this is for error logs or reporting, not too sure. Factory settings, I think this is also for developers. So if you're having issues with this device and you reach out to copyright for any issues, they'll provide you with a password so you can do whatever you need to do. But I don't have a password, so can't do anything in here. Google account, this is so you can log in and out of your Google for YouTube and the Google Play Store. And that's about it. Boom. Oh, almost forgot to show you guys. Even if you're in this copyright interface, if your car has a reverse camera, it'll still work normally. See, it takes over the whole screen. Pretty cool. Again, this device is specifically designed for cars that have CarPlay straight from the factory, but I can confirm that it works with a few aftermarket car stereos, such as the CarPlay car stereo, the Hey Ha car stereo, and this a total car stereo. Pretty cool. Like, yo, this is the answer to many car owners today. Like, people who have CarPlay but don't have wireless CarPlay, this is it. People who have CarPlay who wanna watch YouTube and Netflix, this is it. People who installed a double din radio but can't watch YouTube and Netflix, this is it. And I mean, yo, you could just carry this anywhere. I honestly hope that they have like a better version with a better processor because I wouldn't mind spending a couple extra dollars for a device that loads a lot faster boots up a lot faster. I mean, yo, I think this is an excellent gift idea for someone you know who has CarPlay and wants more features. All right, and that's it. That's the CarPlay 3-in-1 AI box. If you're thinking about picking one of these up, please consider using one of my links in the description below. I have a link to Amazon and a link to the CarPlay website along with a discount code. You'll see it down below. But all right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a comment 
you have any questions, something I may have not covered, feel free to post away. And all right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Yeah!